raise up an urban church, God. God, that you would raise up this young group of people, this young group of renegades of the world, Lord. I pray you would raise us up, God, like a big banner of Jesus Christ all over the city of Chicago, God, that those who have influence would be drawn to the church, that those who have even little kids would be drawn to the church, those who could sing, who could dance, who could draw, who could rap, who could make music. I pray that they would be drawn to the church and they could know that you have saved people that were just like them. Lord, I pray that we would be a part of the redeeming work of the city of Chicago, Lord. Lord, you only needed 12 to flip the whole world upside down, God. You only needed 12, God. And we thank you, Lord, for those faithful in this room. Come on, just pray for these next two minutes. I'm willing to forego all of that and put up treasures in heaven. Remember, only what's done for Christ will last. We're renegades of the world because we have left what the world says is good. We come against it because we believe God's word is far truer, far greater. Uh, than what the world has to offer. So we don't want to conform to the patterns of the world, Romans 12, 2. But we say, you know, we're renegades against that. We're, we're renegades of the world. We're following the Lord. Amen. And so we're not just renegades to be renegades. Oh, we're cool, we're renegade. Ah, we don't believe no one. It's like, no, we don't, we don't want what the world has to offer. We want what God has for Amen. us. Within the next few years, we're going to be planting and launching, uh, uh, a relaunching or planting a functioning church. Whether we call it a relaunch or not, that doesn't matter. What matters is we're going to be building a functioning church, not just in speech, intentionally building. Amen? We've talked about it. I've said it in the past, and that was my desire. But God's had to do something in our lives, in my life, and bringing people, the right pieces together together where we're going to have help from other ministries that come in that are able to help what God's already given us. Amen. I want to be able to go and help other churches and be able to give them a helping hand. Amen, somebody. I mean, that, that's my heart. I, this is not about a one-man show like, hey, we're going to be the best church in the city. I forget that church. Forget that church. They're all, they're lame. They're not cool. And the fact is, maybe they're not cool, but that's not the point. we got to make them cool. We can help other people. Amen, somebody. What I'm trying to say is, if you signed up to die because of Jesus Christ giving you his life, signed up to die with your flesh, that means your sin, amen? That means you die to your flesh. If you signed up to die for that, then you signed up to live for Jesus Christ. That means you signed up to follow him. That means you signed up to be a servant of God, amen? So if we signed up to be a part of this, then we got to get ready to serve together.